at this point, you all know that I'm Gigi of Gigi Eat Celebrities. Every single week, I typically make you some sort of weird, quirky, outside-of-the-box recipe. Well, this week is exactly the same. However, I'm dedicating the odd recipe to the cast of the movie Inside Out, which includes Bill Hader, Mindy Kaling, Amy Poehler, Louis Black, and Phyllis Smith just to name a few. Now in this movie, we dive deep into the psyche of an 11-year-old girl named Riley, where we hang out with her emotions joy, anger, sadness, fear, and disgust. Personally, I relate the most to joy. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm pretty happy. And to be honest, I'm pretty happy with the recipe I'm actually going to make today. Now in the movie, there is a reference to broccoli pizza and it being disgusting. I'm gonna try and put the kibosh on the disgust thinking and I'm hopefully going to make it delicious. I have never in fact made this recipe before, just like a whole bunch of other recipes I've made in the past. That being said, I'm really hopeful and joyful, ha ha ha, that this is going to turn out really, really well. I just wish the cast of Inside Out would come over and enjoy this pizza with me. Hmm, I wonder if I have enough time to call Amy Poehler right now. Cause you know I have her on speed dial, right? Wait, does speed dial even exist anymore? Uh oh, you caught me in that fib. Anyways, let's get started on this recipe. I want to get the inside scoop as to whether or not it's actually good. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> inside out. Ah, I'm so funny. My diet does not allow me to eat a lot of different ingredients, hence why I haven't had pizza in forever. However, today I'm going to try a tapioca and coconut flour crust. We're gonna see how that goes. Since the cast is not in fact coming over, unfortunately, I'm going to make a personal sized pizza for myself. I am going to need one fourth cup of tapioca flour. Here we are, tapioca flour going into the trusty bowl. Now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of coconut flour. My favorite. It smells so good, that's why I love it. I could just go like this, but I won't. I'm also gonna add a fourth a teaspoon of salt. I've got myself an egg here that's gonna go right into the bowl as well. Three tablespoons of olive oil, one fourth cup of water. I'm going to liberally sprinkle in oregano because I mean, what's pizza without oregano? Come on now. I'll say about a half a teaspoon. Garlic is another necessity for pizza, so I am again going to sprinkle that in liberally as well. Probably about a half a teaspoon. Now I'm going to stir the mixture together and I'm going to see how the dough forms. If it's a little too watery or sticky, I'm gonna add about another tablespoon of coconut flour to make it more of the dough consistency. This smells absolutely phenomenal and it wouldn't be a Gigi Eats video if I didn't sample it prior to making. So let me see how it tastes. While this is really, really good, it definitely needs another tablespoon or two of coconut flour. And finally, to make this a little bit more pizza-like, since I can't eat cheese, I'm going to put one tablespoon of nutritional yeast into my dough. All right. This is looking great, looking like a batter. Got myself a sheet of parchment paper so I can put the dough right on top. Ta-da, here is my pizza dough. My little personal pizza crust. It's actually pretty cute. I could just go like this, ah! But I won't do that because I'm actually going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 12 minutes. I want this to cook pretty much all the way through and then I'm gonna take it out of the oven, put my delicious toppings on, and then stick it back in the oven for another five minutes. So after 12 minutes, this is what the crust looks like. Ow, 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 burning my hand. But I wanted to show you, it doesn't look like it's cooked, but when I touch it, yes, yes it is. So I'm gonna put my toppings on now. What's a pizza without some tomato sauce? That being said, since this is a pretty small pizza, I'm just gonna put one tablespoon of tomato sauce. Okay, one generous tablespoon. Now you can put whatever you want on your pizza. However, this is gonna be broccoli pizza, so you have to at least put broccoli on it. I'm gonna sprinkle these little trees on top of my pizza. I'll show you, this is not disgusting. I'm going to sprinkle on about two tablespoons of chopped olives. I'm also gonna arrange some sliced onion on top. And last but not least, I'm gonna add some bison bratwurst to this pizza. I have the Honest Bison Onion Leek Brats right here. I am going to put about a half a brat on top of my little pizza. So here's my sausage. It looks a little funny, yes? Ah ha ha, make all the jokes you want in the comments below. I'll probably be joking right there with you. But I have to reiterate that the Honest Bison is 100% grass-fed and grass finished bison. It's very important. If you don't know anything about that, go check out my previous video. I might not even need a half a sausage. I might only need about a quarter of a sausage because my pizza is so small. Maybe I should take some of the broccoli off. 
No, I won't do that. Okay, everyone, here's my little pizza. It's topped to perfection. I think I wanna sprinkle a little nutritional yeast on top, you know, for the cheese flavor. Sprinkle it right on top. Well, now it's gonna go back in the oven for five minutes, people, five minutes. Good to go. Why, hello there, my little personal sized pizza. Don't you look anything but disgusting. Except you're burning my hand and it really hurts. Oven mitt sucks. I'm gonna put it on another plate cause I'm a lady and I'm not gonna eat it off the pan. Uh, just kidding, I always do that. I'm really just putting it on a plate so I can take a picture. Well, 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 I do have to try it to see if it tastes as good as it looks. Okay, broccoli pizza, please don't let me down. I'm experiencing a little fear right now. So I am going to face my fear head on and try it. I promise I won't be a piggy and just take the whole damn thing and go like this. Ooh, the dough, real, it really feels like dough. This is, this is awesome. Okay, here goes nothing. Are you kidding me? Gigi, you have never made this recipe before and it is so good. It's so good that I'm referring to myself in the third person. I really wish the cast of Inside Out was here to share this with me because, whoa, they're missing out. This crust is so good. Man, it brings me back to the days. Aww. Now if you can eat dairy, I would recommend you put some grass-fed, grass-finished cheese on top because that would seal the deal. But I'm pretty satisfied with this. In fact, I am full of joy. <laughs> you know, a movie reference. While I finish the rest of my personalized pizza, all of you should go and purchase tickets to see Inside Out. I promise you it is probably one of the best movies I have seen to date. It is so unique, so original, and it really gets you thinking. I caught myself laughing more than a few times. Oh, and a few tears were shed as well. Because I mean, it's not a Pixar movie without some tears to be shed, right? However, this pizza is not making me sad at all. Perhaps Phyllis Smith's character Sadness needs to eat some of this pizza in order to become happy. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out the movie Inside Out and Come back next week because who knows what I have in store for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, crust. The crust is so good. It makes me feel like I'm Riley in the movie Inside Out because pretty much the last time I had pizza was when I was 11.